Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Building a commercial ship is one of the largest investments in today's world. These massive vessels require a substantial amount of money, state-of-the-art shipbuilding facilities, and intense planning, coordination, as well as labor work. The return on investment is secured, but only if ship owners ensure the maintenance and repairs are tackled in a timely manner. This approach is indispensable to maximize the lifespan of these enormous vessels, safeguarding sustained profitability. In this episode, let's review the retrofit, repair, and maintenance processes of some critical sections and equipment of billion-dollar car carriers. Ship repair, retrofit, and maintenance form the cornerstone of ensuring the longevity and operational efficiency of these maritime assets. Repair interventions address damages and wear. It is crucial for sustaining structural integrity. On the other hand, retrofitting involves upgrading or modernizing a ship's systems, enhancing its efficiency, safety, and compliance with evolving regulations. While timely and meticulous maintenance is pivotal, it encompasses routine checks, lubrication, and component replacements. This proactive approach mitigates potential issues, ensuring seamless operation. When a ship is being repaired, advanced technologies and skilled labor converge to address intricate challenges. Dry docks and specialized facilities are integral. These giant, truly industrious areas facilitate comprehensive inspections and repairs beneath the waterline. The team must work quickly. Every minute counts to enable the vessel to go back to navigating. Thus, rigorous planning and coordination are imperative streamlining tasks and minimizing downtime. Whether routine or corrective, the maintenance requires precision to sustain optimal functionality. From engines to navigation systems, each component plays a role in maritime efficacy. Retrofitting demands a strategic vision, an investment to incorporate cutting-edge technologies to optimize fuel efficiency, reduce emissions, and enhance overall performance. Sometimes, the repair, maintenance, and retrofitting might be performed simultaneously. A complete process that gives the ship a second life. The maintenance and repair of the MV Neptune Galini stand out as one perfect example. On January 30th, 2019, Neptune Galini dry docked at Odesso shipyard, 
to undergo a comprehensive scope of tasks to ensure optimal performance and compliance with environmental regulations. The repair and maintenance efforts encompassed hull coating with silicone paint, a bow thruster overhaul, a total main engine overhaul, tail shaft and rudder arrangement surveys, plus cargo ramp repairs. Any identified issues were promptly rectified. Scrubber system retrofitting emerged as a major event, a critical measure to reduce sulfur emissions and comply with international regulations. Skilled technicians carefully extended the funnel structure in three dimensions to accommodate the scrubber and machinery. Odesso Shipyard ensured the reconstruction of exhaust gas piping with a bypass system for the main engine, auxiliary engines, boiler and incinerator. Air sealed valves, electrical, automation and monitoring systems were integrated along with modifications to the sea chests. After almost one month, MV Neptune Galini departed the dry dock. Although ship owners conduct regular repair and maintenance, unforeseen emergencies might arise, enforcing quick intervention before it's too late. Emergency ship repairs, such as the case of the MV Mariner at MEC shipyards, become imperative when structural damage threatens both the lives of the crew and commercial operations. At the dockyard, the team of cutters and welders join forces to mitigate the risk. The plan consisted of cropping and renewing sections of the side shell plating and transom plate. There are a variety of marine coatings. Anti-fouling, for instance, was invented to prevent the attachment of marine organisms to the submerged part of the ship's hull. These organisms, such as barnacles and algae, act as corrosive agents, weakening the hull and reducing the overall performance of a vessel. Fortunately, in the early 60s, international painting came to realize the size of the issue, a decade after the company introduced the self-polishing copolymer technology known as the SPC. This solution proved to be effective for fouling control on ships. Companies such as International Paint continue to innovate and develop high-performance coatings with a focus on sustainability and enhancing vessel efficiency. The fouling control family of products includes foul release anti-fouling coatings and silicate coatings. Regularly applying these specialized coatings maintains optimal hydrodynamic efficiency, reduces drag, and enhances fuel efficiency. Beyond performance, anti-fouling hull painting safeguards against biofouling related corrosion which significantly extends the lifespan of the ship structure. A 
Another external part of the vessel which might be subject to retrofitting is the propeller. Propellers are a fundamental component in maritime engineering. These mechanical devices are located below the waterline and are designed to generate thrust by rotating through the water. They are vital in determining a vessel's speed, maneuverability, and overall efficiency. The design of the propeller plays a crucial role in this. As propeller technology continues to evolve, ship owners retrofit this part of their vessels to enhance propulsion systems. The propeller manufacturing process employed the sand casting technique, a method known for its precision and reliability in crafting complex metal structures. This technique ensures the formation of a durable and aerodynamically efficient propeller. Quality assurance is paramount. X-ray scanning was employed to scrutinize the integrity of the newly cast propeller. This non-destructive testing method ensures the propeller meets stringent standards for structural soundness. Once the x-ray scanning confirmed the structural integrity, the propeller underwent a meticulous polishing process. The finest craftsmanship used the latest polishing machines and techniques to ensure the smoothness of the surface. This reduces drag and contributes to the overall hydrodynamic efficiency of the propeller. Next, the propeller was carefully delivered to the shipyard, where the ethylene carrier was afloat. The culmination of the project involved the installation and fitting of the newly crafted five-blade propeller. Additionally, the car carrier was outfitted with Nakashima's Energy Saving Device, or EcoCap. The EcoCap aimed to further improve propulsion performance by eliminating the hub vortex. The final phase of the project involved a comprehensive sea trial. This rigorous testing period allowed the ship owner to assess the performance of the new propeller and EcoCap device in real-world conditions. Observing the course of the vessel, it was clear that it was now sailing more straight than before. Additionally, Sea trials validated the merits of propeller retrofitting in achieving ME load reduction and fuel consumption improvement. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.